My guest this morning is one of a few prodigies in decades to capture the art of realism. Akiana Kramaric is 10 years old and has already sold numerous paintings for over $40,000 each. She is internationally renowned for her Prince of Peace and Father Forgive Them Pieces. Akiana began painting at the age of four and sold her first painting at seven for $10,000. She speaks four languages and she aspires to use her God-given talents to raise money for the African AIDS crisis. Please welcome with me Miss Akiana Kamara. Akiana, God loves you, and so do we. How did you get inspired to raise money for the African AIDS crisis? Well, when I was four years old, uh, I had a vision of helping the whole world. And that is just one of my things that I'm going to do. I'm going to help, like, I'll try to help the whole world, the uh, poor children around the world, homeless children, and things like that. Well, that's quite a vision for a four-year-old. That's not the vision most four-year-olds <laughs> yes. have. Yes, yes. Most four-year-olds... I myself didn't understand at first, but I began understanding when I got a little older. Wow. Well, you've had lots of visions as, as a lots young child, haven't yes. you? What are some of your other visions? Well, visions of paintings, the Prince of Peace and the Father Forgiven, and many, many others. I probably have, including my oil, oil pastels, probably over 60 paintings, color paintings, and um, all those are visions, even poetry I write. And I started writing at the age of seven. All those are visions, and I myself, I just forget, I forget them. The way I can remember them is to write them or to paint them. So when you say a vision, do you, is a vision like a thought in your head or is it something you see when you close your eyes? What, what does a vision look like to you? Well, a vision looks like, like a dream, like a dreaming of somewhere you want to be or a dream of someone you want to meet. Um, so to me, that's a vision. And, um, I think one of my visions is to help the whole world. That is a beautiful, beautiful vision, and I have no doubt you're going to do that uh, and do that very well. Yes, yes. So, how did you discover you had a talent to, of of painting? Well, when I was four, when I was sleeping one day, I had a vision that I was like a professional artist, and I was like, I thought, I don't know, I just saw myself a little older. Like at seven years old. Oh, really old, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at a couple pieces which are absolutely spectacular. Thank you. What are those? Tell me about them. Well, the Prince of Peace and Father Forgive Them, it's a, like a so awesome story behind these paintings. Well, when, for t many years, I was looking for a Jesus model. Because, and I couldn't find anyone who present Jesus, my Lord. Well, and one day I decided to pray all day, and then the next day, a seven-foot carpenter came through the front door. Seven foot? Yes. He, no wonder. Wow, that is big. <laughs> and I asked him to model for me, but it took the carpenter a few weeks to decide, and he uh, made a decision to model for me, and this is how these two paintings came along. Amazing. <laughs> that he was a carpenter. Yes. Wow, and he came to your door. Yes. Now, is he a family friend? Yes. At seven feet tall, does he play basketball? I don't know yet. Yeah. The Lakers could use him. Yes. <laughs> the Lakers need Jesus. The Lakers need Jesus, too, yeah. <laughs> Do you just sit down and draw that in a couple hours? Or? No. The Prince of Peace took me 40 hours to complete it. The Father for Forgive Them took me 75 hours to complete that painting. So, you were uh, 
introduced to Jesus yes. when you were very young. How old were you? Four. And how were you introduced to Jesus? I don't know why. When I was four, I had this vision, and it kept going and on for like days and weeks, and he kept coming to my dream, and it's like a face. Uh, it's like coming to me constantly, and I remember it ever since when I was four, and I painted at the age of nine and eight. The face you painted was? Prince of Peace at the age of eight. Prince of Peace. Yes. And that face just kept coming to yes, you? Yes, exactly. And that's how you discovered Jesus? Yes. Now, and did he started you... explaining himself. Did your parents know Jesus then? No. Um, I was raised in an atheist family, and I brought my family to Christianity. <laughs> and I brought my family to God. What did your family say when you, when you started telling them about your visions? They, they them, well, my mom, when I started sharing my visions, they thought she thought that was like a nightmare. <laughs> but she, when I, um, she, they, she was amazed when I, when, when I was a drawing. She was like, "Oh my God, is this like a ten-year-old, an eleven-year-old, thirteen-year-old?" She keeps going on and on. She says, this is amazing. She, uh, ever since she thought that I had a gift, and I don't know, I, I myself, I was a little young, I didn't know what's like a talent mean. So I, I didn't know, so I just kept on drawing and drawing until I got the feeling of painting, and here I am. It's truly an incredible gift from God. Yes, it to is. To be able to do that. Now, you've never had any lessons, is that right? No, I am self-taught. In other words, God is my teacher. So, so God tells you how to do it. Yes, exactly. You have a dream of doing something with your art. What yes. message do you want your art to give to people? I want my... I want people to find hope in my work. I want my art to draw people's attention to God. I think that's happening. Akiana, you are an incredible young lady. Thank you. And we appreciate you very much. It's an honor to be here. And we want to thank you for coming, for using these little tiny hands, <laughs> these precious little things to do such an incredible work for thank God. You. Thank you. God loves you and so do we. Thank you.